Back at Lagos State, the government says it will begin the demolition of property constructed within drainage channels as government moves to prevent flooding in the state. The Commissioner for Environment, Tokumbo Wahab, after an inspection of multiple drainage sites in the city, added that violators will receive a seven-day notice to vacate their property. Esther Omoparela reports. In a bid to address the persistent issue of flooding in the state, Commissioner for the Environment and his team conducted visits to various locations within the metropolis. During their visit to Dodon Barracks, it came to light that certain structures had been erected on drainage systems. While our news crew was denied camera access to the premises, we managed to capture, using a mobile phone, the areas identified by government officials as illegally constructed and marked for demolition. For the Dodon Barracks, our plan is we will have a meeting with them. We've sent them the requisite not notices um, and it will last for seven days. We are going to have a meeting with the GOC and the commander. We have to do demolition to create and open up the path for the water to enter the, the primary channel created by the state government. The inspection also covered several other areas, including an affluent neighborhood in the metropolis where there were clear indications of numerous properties encroaching on waterways. The commissioner for the environment says the state would not tolerate such violations. They built on the canal path and narrowed the primary channel. Less than the secondary even collector. So water will pull out and destroy other people's assets. We are not going to look back on this. You can't use a form of illegality to claim legality. You can't put something on nothing. It will not stand. These are squatters most times. And once you are a squatter and you build, especially on that canal path, the right of way, you have to go. The team also had a chance to speak with the traditional ruler of Oniru. He appealed to the government to do more. Where you have started, by people seeing you regularly, uh, this week you are going to, you are already in Victoria Island, next week you are going to Ajirami Felodu. By the time people see you out there every other day or weekend or whatever, it will come back to their consciousness that it is important for us to get our environment clean. With collective efforts and responsible urban planning, Lagos State Government aims to create a safer and more resilient environment for all its residents. Esther Mopariola, TVC News, Lagos.